What up everyone, it's your boy Jester James here, coming at you with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about Packet Tracer, and continuing in our Computer Networking Basics series, we're going and bridging all the stuff we learned from our previous video, all about subnetting and all such. If you didn't go and watch that, I highly recommend actually going and being able to watch that, because I go in detail how we subnet the network that we're going to be building out in Packet Tracer and we go and set our IPs up and everything in that previous video so feel free to go and watch that I'll put a add title card or square here to be able to get it and I'll put a link in the description down below that video we covered all sorts of things that you'd require to be able to subnet and actually build a network from scratch and today we're actually going to be building that virtually in Packet Tracer and the video afterwards We'll be going and building it in the physical or still virtual, but instead of using Pack Tracer, we're going to be using virtual machines where we're going to actually be able to go and log into the environment and actually do some good work from there. But today we're going to be covering Packet Tracer, which is a Cisco program that they use and leverage with their networking academy, which is another great resource for folks to go and learn computer networking especially from a solid resource like Cisco when they have industry leading things and certifications like their CCNA and all that good stuff that Cisco has they're one of those good brand names that you can really reference and be able to know and, and you know Cisco when you hear it so let's get right to it I'll walk you through how to download Package Tracer and how to set it up and we'll go from there we'll be able to build our network already having our network map lined out from the previous video I'll bring up another image of that as well but let's get straight to it we're going to be building our network in Packet Tracer and we're going to prove that our subnetting skills work and let's get to it take it away James on the other end alright alright everybody it's your boy, Mr. James, here. Now we are behind the microphone. And, uh, alright, so let's begin. We're going to have some fun here with uh, Pack Tracer. So, for those of you who are, aren't familiar or haven't downloaded Pack Tracer before, so in the previous video I had provided a link for it, but if not, here's, uh, you can just Google Pack Tracer, right? Net ECAD. This is Cisco's Networking Academy. This is a great um, resource if you're studying for your CCNA, which is Cisco's Networking Administration Certificate. But uh, just Cisco in general has some good resources for folks who are trying to learn networking. You can download it here. You might have to go into this Intro to Pack Tracer course here to, to in order to download it. But uh, you can probably just Google Pack Tracer download. But you're so I, I think they put it behind there. Not not necessarily a paywall, but like a, a sign up wall. But ComputerNetworkingNotes.com. That's, that this is a trustworthy uh, site because they've got some solid notes as well and they have all some of the versions of pack tracer that you can go and download from but this is a great site I don't know who runs it but I've used it before in my undergrad and they they've helped me to kind of understand some good things so shout out to computer networking notes.com not a sponsor and I don't know who runs it but it's it's a great resource and and it's a resource I've used before but Right off the bat, let's let's just get straight to it here. Uh, so we're gonna go to Pack Tracer. Let that pop open. Here we go. All right. So right off the bat, you're opening Pack Tracer. I want to check if we're running. Okay, cool. So right off the bat, pop open Pack Tracer. Um, default view here. I'm not, I haven't signed, I, I do have an account, but I don't really use it, so I'm not going to use the, the Network Academy account, I'm just going to set continue as guest, and what that's just going to do is, you know, Cisco is really pushing for you to, to sign up with, with an account for them, so, pops open a browser telling you to s sign up, so, I'm not going to, just because I'm using the guest login, you got to wait like 15 seconds, but you can go confirm guest, all right, awesome. We're in Packet Tracer. Now, just a little bit of recap from our previous video. We got our network map here. So, we subnetted this out. I didn't actually uh, draw the diagram in the video, but I'm showing it to you all now. 
But uh, basically what we did in our previous video, we learned all about subnetting. We learned about how that works. We went behind the scenes of subnetting. We understood how IP addresses are signed, how packets go and route from computer to computer, and how things like the gateway address are so important in order for your data to go and leave your network, to go and go to things like the internet and such. So right off the bat, we got our... This is our... Uh, environment that we're going to be building out so i got like an ids here uh, a seam here a, a pen testing rig station and just like a general lab station and next after that we've got like a malware box that's subnetted out to a, a separate network and it's behind another router slash firewall that we'll be using but you see in this network diagram we did all our subnetting stuff and stuff on paper Here's a diagram. I got the IPs here, the subnet masks there, slash 24, slash 24, slash 29, things like that. So right off the bat here, we got our network diagram. What we're going to do, we're going to go to Packet Tracer, and we're going to build this out. So the point of this, leveraging Packet Tracer, is to verify our subnetting schema, the IP addresses we assigned. I want to make sure that this works and things like that. So right off the bat, we're using Packet Tracer. I'm going to hit, uh, we're going to use PT Router here. This is just the default thing. So we got a router here, another router here, and literally based off this network diagram, if you want, uh, perhaps it is easier to go and like take a screenshot of this or um, pop open uh, or to pause the video with this, and you could follow along with me as we build this out as well, or uh, take a picture of this um, and uh, put it on the side as you're building this out as well. But uh, I'll continuously pop be popping this open. So let's go. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six computers, or uh, two routers and a switch. So there's our two routers. I'm gonna go here. We're gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then one more thing. We need a switch. So I'm gonna search down here for switch. So I guess a little bit more deets about Packet Tracer, right? So Packet Tracer, they got all of these cool devices. So right off the bat, you got network devices here, end devices, components, uh, connections. So like this is this would be like your wires and things like that. And basically, Cisco's gone and developed this network simulation tool that allows you to go and simulate a network environment. And it's got all some really cool features that, you know, uh, not a sponsor, but, you know, I'll definitely go and hype them up because they've got some really cool things that are like even even IoT devices. So, like, if you go to the end devices, you got home, they've got, like, a Bluetooth speaker, you've got ceiling fan, like, power grid. Like, it's really cool the different types of simulations that you can run here. But for the sake of this video, uh, in the, our networking basics series, we're just going to stick to the basics. So I'm just going to do a, a small network here that we're going to simulate. And we're doing it in this simulator here, which is Pack Tracer. And in our next video, uh, spoiler alert, we're actually going to be building this out. But uh, let's begin here. So we got our PCs and everything's lined up. So right off the bat, we're going to connect uh, connect these devices together. So we're linking these up so the switch here you see there's fast ethernet and the pc has these two these are the ethernet ports on the computers so i'm going to link these up this is i'm using the copper straight through so note that because we're using a switch uh i would ha we have to use a copper straight through cable for this simulation to the switch and then we're going to link the switch up to the router and you see how there's fast Ethernet here, but it's different. You notice how in in the other instances it was like a yellow. So what I have to do here, like I mean, let me show you again. So you see how it's fast Ethernet and it's zero. So these are two different kinds of ports. I want this yellow port here. The switch doesn't have that because we use them all so far. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it off here, and and we can zoom in. So again, this is a network simulation tool. So this is simulating an actual device. So I'm going to turn it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the these uh, other ports because I, I don't need them. But I'm going to drag this CFE here. And that's just another fast Ethernet port. And it explains it too. 
I'm not going to go and dive down into the nitty gritties of Packet Tracer because you can go and do that in the Cisco Networking Academy. The uh, the Cisco Networking Academy. You can actually go and, and learn all about Packet Tracer from them. Uh, for the sake of our video and, and, and my content here, we're sticking to our Networking Basics series and we're, we're just going to continue on from what we've been learning about IP addresses and subnetting and we're going to verify our subnetting uh, in our network simulation tool, which is Packet Tracer, before we actually go and build it out. So I'm not going to go too deep into this because I don't want this video getting as long as a subnetting one. But so I'm going to kind of breeze through this. But you can follow along, rewatch the video, and rewatch certain parts of it to follow along as I try my best to explain what's going on here, which I, I will be. And uh, well, well, let's just keep going with it. And right off the bat here, you see so CFE. Down here, you can actually understand what that means. And that's the fast ethernet interface that's using the copper. So it's copper fast ethernet. Um, and that's just because there's different types of ethernet that you can use here. For example, fast ethernet here, that uses fiber. So FFE. So you notice how before there was a different color. This is a different port because it's a different type of medium. So that's fiber. We're sticking to ethernet here. And... Uh, Continuing forward, so now we have another port here to connect our switch up to our router. You notice how that's that extra yellow appeared now. Also, I don't want to forget to turn it back on. Let's do that. So remember copper straight through because it's copper. Remember fast Ethernet. There we go. Link that up. So let's map. We're going to match this up with our network map. So we have two Ethernet ports here. So we're obviously going to need to add more. So, but first, linking up with the switch, let's go back to our network diagram. We're going to be using 1 slash 0. So we're going to link it up, 1 slash 0. And we're actually going to need to add another inter Ethernet interface here. So what I'm going to do here is the same thing I did with the switch. Turn it off, the route, turn the router off. I'm going to drag these ports out here. And let's see how many uh, interfaces I actually need here. So I'm going to drag these out. So technically, you could use a router that's empty or PT router empty. But we're going to drag Ethernet here. So we've got three. So there's one, two, three. So there we go. I'm going to turn the power back on here with the switch. Like, again, Packet Tracer is very intuitive, which is why I'm not going to go and, and, like, explain everything. But the Networking Academy, right, Cisco Networking Academy... The, the reason why they want you to keep on, it keeps coming back to this page and telling you to sign up is because Cisco is the one who, at, it's it's their product, it's their tool that they'll give you the training and everything. So if you really want to deep dive into Packet Tracer as a tool, the Networking Academy does that. But because all Packet Tracer is, is a network simulation tool, I'm, I'm not going to go and deep dive into it because... For the sake of this video, I, I don't want it to be tool focused because there's so many different types of network simulation tools out there. Like you can you can literally Google them. I know for example one of them was I know Solar Winds had a, a network sim simulation tool, but <laughs> if you've read the news recently, uh Solar Winds isn't doing too hot. So Packet Tracer um is what I was learned and, and I learned with, so we're gonna be using Packet Tracer, but turn the router back on. We got this uh, linked up. So right now all we're doing is we're setting up our physical layer of, of our network here. So I'm, I'm linking these up. Next what we're going to do is we're going to do copper crossover cable. And that's because what we're doing is we're connecting two different uh, routers. So the difference is here that the with the switch, straight through allows you to have it in a direct connection. The, the crossover allows you to go in and... In, in, bi-directional communication so again because we're using two different routers i'm going to use the the crossover cable and again i want to check the network map so that's two the first one is this is zero is going to go straight up and we're going to go here two slash zero to this router and what ethernet was that right fa zero zero so we're going to connect it up to zero zero Lit. And again, so all of this stuff, right, all of this comes from our previous video. We subnetted these out, and we we did fixed-length subnetting, we did variable-length subnetting, we used a switch, and we, we subnetted it all, 
and that was in the previous video. So if you didn't watch the previous video, I highly recommend you do that. I'm I'm going to try and see if I can get some the end cards for the videos set up in the YouTube editor. Um, I apologize because I haven't really been had the time to go and familiarize myself with the the ways to the, that YouTube provides to go and actually have like end cards and things like that. Just because you know this this is a this is a side hustle of mine. It's a it's it's a thing I do at, like during the night. It's not my day job and things like that. Just because I'm I'm starting out, so this is just me uh, trying to give back to the community and and I do have a day job, so I sneak this in a, as as much as I can. But uh yeah uh I'm improving slowly but but surely. <laughs> I appreciate y'all and, and the patience here. So continuing continuing on. Linking these up, that means this fast Ethernet one zero, link that up to the PC. So now we have our network connected, right? So now we have our cables connected and everything lit. Next step, we're gonna go into these machines and we're gonna assign these IPs. So let's go with PC zero. We're gonna go to config because we're configuring. Now default gateway here, remember, we're doing it based off our network diagram. So the gateway here is that dot one address. Remember, we're in our slash 28 subnet here. So 10.0.0.1, because it's that dot one address, that's the gateway. So with that, the gateway here is the router, because in order for these computers to connect to the internet, they have to go out past the router. So this PC4 is kind of going to simulate like our, our internet service provider. Um, so it'll be like our local machine. So like what I'm going to be doing on our next video is we're going to be using virtual machines to actually build these out and things along those lines, which I'll get into in the next video. But right, 10.0.0.1, DNS server, and gateway. So this, this is what's called like statically assigning your IP. So as you can see, our IP configuration is set to static. It's not DHCP. So a regular router uses DHCP normally and it uses DHCP because that's dynamic host control protocol. I'm going to make another video where I actually go into the, the different network protocols and, and some of how they work and things like that. But DHCP is how Wi-Fi goes and assigns your IP addresses. So 10.0.0.2 slash 28. So slash 28, 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255
there's a contact form and you can contact me directly. I'm very open to, to helping you all out and, and giving you some support. But that's this all right off the bat. And again, we're only doing IPv4 just because IPv6, I'm, I'm not going to, I haven't recorded, I haven't made a video for IPv6 yet. So we're going to leave that empty. This would be 10.0.5, and then we're going to do 2 for 5, 2 for 5, 2.40. And again, so just to just to verify, you know, trust but verify, if you want, I'll pull up my thing, my browser here, subnet cheat sheet, right? Pop open images. There's like a bunch of them. So like slash 28, 2.5, 2.5.240. We have 29, so the next one would be 28 based off our network map, right? So we have 29, we have 28 and 24. And I just know these uh, network masks, uh, just because I, I've subnetted it a, a lot in my time. Um, and it's it's hilarious because I remember when in my undergrad, I I would go and I'd tell my friends, I was like, how do you, how do you, they, they, my one, a friend of mine already has her, um, Network Plus, and she's got all these different networking certifications. Networking is her bread and butter. Personally, networking isn't my bread and butter, but it's a fundamental skill that we all need to learn to, to go and do further computer skills. And it's, it was fun. It's networking is kind of fun, but it's a lot of troubleshooting and yeah, it's a lot of trouble to, to me. So, <laughs> um, just practice and you'll be able to remember it. So interface, right? We get, we assign the gateway. Now we got to assign it into the um, router itself. So we assign the interfaces, right? Zero zero actually, zero zero would be assigned one nine two one six eight. So we're gonna do that one nine two dot one six eight dot o dot one, and that's the basic tw slash twenty four. I'm gonna turn the port on. Don't forget to turn the port status into on. And you can follow along. Cisco has a a command line syntax for their routers and things and i'm doing it through using through the the gui here but you can actually type these commands in too as you watch here with the equivalent ios commands that's what this below window is so we're going to go to the next interface i'm just going to assign all the interfaces here so one zero is going to be our gateway from our previous subnet 10.0.0.0.1 Subnet mask, remember, 255.255.255.240. Turn that port status on to on. And then the final one, I think I think our, I think think our this is a separate network too. It's still slash 29. Yeah, okay. So we got we changed the subnet now to slash 29, which is cool. So 10.0.0.17. So remember in our previous video, we had to subnet this out. So we're actually borrowing a bit from the this subnet down here and it's 10.0.17 because the network address for this subnet that's in between these two routers so the one that these two wire this this one wire is using on this red endpoint and then this red endpoint it's red because i haven't turned it on yet is and it's it's um we're using the we're borrowing a bit from this subnet and it's 10.0.17 because the network address for this subnet is 10.0.0.16 so all right resuming yes had to uh there was a spider crawling on my desk very nervous okay where was i okay so <laughs> right so in this 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 subnet here we borrowed a bit here in, we did our subnet in our previous video, right? So the network address for this network between these two routers is 10.0.0.16, a lot similar to the, like a dot one. So the next subnet on a slash 20, slash 29, or the next subnet in a slash 28 would be dot 16. And we subnetted that dot 16 to into a slash 29. Uh, so the next IP would be dot seventeen, and turn that port status on. So that's this two, which means this one. So we're gonna go, and I believe that's zero. Yeah. So 
This one's 17. This next IP is going to be 18. So remember, routers, they, they route your traffic and they, they do all this cool stuff with your packets and your data in order for you to be able to connect and things. However, they're still endpoints. Like a lot of folks, they, they kind of forget like the, the simple fact that routers are still endpoints. So like in the beginning, right, they need to, they, they get assigned IP addresses and things as well. So very much like a dot one. Uh, the next subnet up could be dot 16 and, and like there's there's all the the math that goes into it as well that we went into the the previous video so again you know I highly recommend you watch the previous video so this one so we subnetted this again and instead of the the slash 28 subnet we're actually going to be on the slash 29 which means the next subnet up from a dot 17 is a dot 25 so one slash zero would be 10.0.0.25 and that's 248 you see that's the nice thing about pack tracer it recognizes that subnet so hitting that port on and then this pc test it way hold on settings default gateway so remember just like we did on the other subnet, so we got to give this a gateway out. So the gateway for that one will be the router, 10.0.0.19, I believe, or no, it was 25, because 19 is in the other subnet. And technically, I don't really have to be filling out the DNS server, but it's just a habit. The DNS is just, uh, it, it allows you to have pointer records, which go and signify an IP address into a recognizable name. So for example, yep, 10.0.26, yeah, 25.25.25.248. There we go, port status on, and now. So we assigned everything IP addresses, we got our interfaces aligned, things like that. You can hover over it, works and works cool. And the fact that they're all green, that's a good sign. So right off the bat, we're going to hit this email. So this is a PDU. And basically what this does is it, it sends like ping packets. So this is just a way for us to test communication. So very much like I would do, like if I open command prompt, for example. So this is my local machine. If I type in ping 8.8.8.8. So remember earlier I said Google has DNS servers. Google's DNS, is, one of them, is 8.8.8. .8 .8. So I'm going to test my network connectivity from my computer to the internet by trying to ping Google. And I, I have replies, so that's a good sign. So DNS, actually what it does is it allows you to link up domain names with IP addresses. So if I do ping.google.com, it's a similar thing. So Google's uh, Google.com actually resolves to 172.217.4.46, but that's just because that's what it's resolving to. Uh, a DNS server isn't necessarily going to be the one where it replies, securely speaking, because like it's such a, a targeted thing, but that's just an example, right? So we're going to do exactly like I did there. These um, mail packets are basically kind of like pings, so... There's one step we're missing. Haha, <laughs> yes. Big reveal. Not really. <laughs> so because we've already been um, setting IP addresses and stuff, it'll default to this screen. But usually what shows up is this screen. So I'm going to go and use the Cisco command line for the router here. Right off the bat, it gives us this little carrot. I'm going to enable... And what that means is that I'm escalating to a, a shell, which gives me that, that hashtag over there. I'm going to type in config because I'm going to set it, I'm, I'm going to start configuring the router and I'm doing it from the terminal. So I'm just going to hit enter for the default. And what we have to do here is set up a default route. So here's the thing about these routers. They're fresh out the gate. They don't have a, a, a cache or a, a, a table to be able to go and say, look, I know where to put these packets. I know where to move these packets. A lot of folks, um, well, I guess in the beginning, a lot of folks, they we don't really recognize 
the work that routers are doing, routers, they track our, our IP addresses. They track where to send our data. And it's, it's really cool. They're, they're, they're really nice that they go and do that. So what we have to do here, when a router doesn't know where to put a, a packet, we have to set up what's called default routes. So very much like there's default gateways, there's also default routes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type IP route and I'm going to type in this IP address 0.0.0 .0 and that's the source and destination. And the reason for that is because I'm assigning the, the, the 0.0.0, .0 indicates that the router doesn't know what to do with those packets. So I'm actually going to set the default route for these to go to these other interfaces. So I'm going to go from, for example, from here to here, I need to put those interfaces. So I'm going to go back to my network diagram just because it's convenient. So 2.0, I'm going to start with because I'm, I'm going to go and do this way. So FA2 slash 0. Cool. Let us try now. Well, actually, let's give it a little bit of time. So I'm going to fast forward here because the, the pack tracer is a tad bit buggy. So I'm going to fast for the time just out of convenience. Try this one. Now, hold on. Okay. There's one more thing we got to do. We got to do it on this side too. Remember, networking, it's a two-way street. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Do the same thing. Remember, enable, config. I'm doing it from the terminal. IP route. And this is the this is the command. It's it's IP route because we're routing the IP. Again, the Cisco Networking Academy goes all into this, and I'm just not gonna deep dive and explain Cisco's own tool, just because um, that's not a focus I wanna I wanna kind of get into or, or really do, just because the content's already out there. This is just for us to test and verify our subnetting skills by simulating the network. So let's try that. Give a little bit of time, give a little bit of time, give it a little bit of time. Assign that. Hold up. I did not assign this guy an address. That's why as well. LMAO, folks. 192.0. Oh, actually, no. It was 192.168 because it's the default. 0. 1. Man, I really thought I would be able to do this in one shot. Oh, well. We live in... We'll learn. 192.168.0.2.255.255. Okay. <laughs> wow, so much hate. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it now. Gonna go from here to here. Hooray, that's successful. Gonna go from here to here. Again, so usually it'll... Um, usually it fails the first time. Do it again. See? Successful. Successful. Well, failed that time. Tried again. Successful. Again, it just needs a little bit more time. Like I said, pack trace is a tad bit buggy. That cool. That works. Let's try connecting from this network to this network. So notice we're going across the subnets here. Let's try here to here. Let's try here to here. Let's try, oh, we forgot to, we need to set up our default route for this way too, because there we go. Okay, wait, no, it just needed a, it's, again, pack trace is a little buggy. So that's successful. Let's go the other way. Yep, there we go. Yeah, so there you go. We simulated our network here. It's all working. Successful, successful, successful. So this is just testing. All the computers are talking to each other, the router's working, all our networking, our configurations are working. So right off the bat, what did we do in this video? We set up Pack Tracer. We went, we configured our IP addresses based off of our network map here. And we went, we assigned our default gateways. We gave our computers, our endpoints, our routers ways to go and connect to one another. We confirmed that they're able to talk to each other. By testing it out, we went, we set up our default route for our routers. That way our routers know where to go and send our packets and where to send our datas. And with that, 
we got we had to go and learn a tad bit of that Cisco PLI command. All we really did was learn uh, the IP route command just so we could set up our default route. But that again, again, uh, major plug for the Cisco Networking Academy. They have a great tool to go. You can go learn all about Package Tracer. Uh, send them. I'll send them your way. <laughs> but for the sake of our video, we're gonna go build our network out here in our simulation. In our next video, we're actually going to build some virtual machines and we're going to actually do this on real live systems. We're going to be using a real live router. We're going to be re using real life PCs, real life virtual machines, and we'll go and see how this is actually done in the real world. So again, this is a simulation. This isn't the like the real world. But it is kind of similar, and we tested it out as well. So, with that, confirming our our subnetting skills worked. We prepped, we've learned, we practiced here, and it's all working. Everything's connecting, and just gonna check our things here. Did it all in, in 36 minutes. Uh, I hope I can cut that down a little bit, but you know, right off the bat. <laughs> We've confirmed our, our our subnetting skills worked. We have a network. We got our network map here. It's time for us to go and actually build it out. So I'll go give it back to James to end the video and uh, stay tuned for our next video as we go and actually implement this. And we're back in front of camera now. So in this video, we were able to go set up Packet Tracer, go and do our troubleshooting, make sure we were able to go and formalize our subnetting Make sure we know that we were able to subnet correctly. We were able to test our packets to be able to talk to one another, test the computers out, test the routers out, configure it all up in Packet Tracer. That way, now in our next video, we're going to be able to go and actually build this network using real tools and real industry hardware and software and operating systems. And we're going to be getting into that for the next video, continuing in on our computer networking basics series. And we're going to be able to leave with a functioning lab environment. And we we're able to go test it all out here in Packet Tracer to verify. So when we go and do that, we're not making mistakes on the fly. We were able to go troubleshoot, test it out in Packet Tracer as a virtual solution to make sure that the, the minimal basics of the networking can be configured and will function completely well and we'll be able to go and do our whole lab install and set up in the next few videos unless it's just one we'll do well I think I'll probably well hold on in the next couple of videos we'll be able to go and set up that lab environment using real systems and real software and we'll be able to leave with a fully functioning lab environment that you can then go and leverage to go and do your own learning and explore other technologies and experiment and do whatever you'd like to do in your lab environment and slowly closing out our networking basics series as we go and cover all the different steps again if you haven't already I encourage you to watch that previous video the subnetting video where I actually go and detail and cover all the things about how we actually built this network out all the subnetting how we assign the IP addresses and how that actually works so again I'll put a link to that description down below so with that I hope you're looking forward to the next video I hope you found this one valuable I hope you followed along with me and were able to go and actually successfully go test out our solution that we've been building together. I'll see you in the next video. If you found this one valuable, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it if it was helpful for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!